So um, this one here would be e minus x squared. This one here would be e cos x. This one here would be root 9 minus um, x squared. Um, this one here would be 1 over root 16 minus x squared. And this one's going to be a little bit different. I just want to show you what's happening here. This is d dx t squared over 2, 2xx, which is d dx. 4x squared over 2 minus x squared over 2, um, which is the derivative of this. So that's 8x over 2 minus 2x over 2, which is 4x minus x, which is 3x. Um, so for the fundamental theorem, change it is a little messier because of the limits here kind of messes things up uh messes things up a a little bit uh, um yeah t let's see t squared over two and then 4x squared over 2 minus x squared over 2. And then the derivative 8x minus 4x minus a 3x. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see what's next now. 153. So again, if you see here, that's the derivative, and then you integrate t squared over 2, and then root x and 0. So the 0 one doesn't matter because we'll differentiate it. So it's d dx, and when you differentiate this, it goes back to t, but then because of the chain rule, we'll have to multiply by the derivative of this, which is a half, 1 over um, root x. And then we have to sub that in. So that becomes a, a root x. So I think, is that a half? If I, if I did that correctly? Um, let me, let me, let me uh, space that out a bit. Okay. So that's d, dx root x squared over 2. Yeah, that's the derivative of x over 2, which is indeed a half then. So it's a chain rule. So I think we can kind of see what's happening here with these more complicated ones, like here, 154. This would be root 1 minus sine squared x times derivative of sine, I think, perhaps. So that would be cos. So that's cos squared. Let's check. Let's check 155. So we can just flip that around. So it'd be minus one minus cos squared x times minus sine x. So sine squared x. Let's check some answers. Okay. Um, 155. 155, 155, 155. Oh, no, be careful, modulus. Yeah, okay. 
Very good. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, okay. So that one there would be, I guess, technically modulus cos x cos x and then minus modulus sine x sine x. Mm, very good. Very good. So I think they're right. I'm sure they have to be right. So 153. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's leave it there for today.